Now to our complete coverage of the deadly trend you, we see every year in El Paso County. Every season, there is a rise of water rescues and also drownings in local canals. And today, ABC 7 got a firsthand look at what you're seeing here at how the El Paso Fire Department rescue team prepares for these very scenarios. Since last week alone, we know of at least six bodies that have been found in El Paso County canals. ABC 7's Emmanuel Esparza joins us live from the border with a look at the training they undergo. Emmanuel. Now, well, the water, uh, I'm sorry, the fire department says they have been called out at least 12 times this year, and that is either to recover bodies or rescue people from the water. Now, last year, it was a total of 28 of those calls, and this year, the team is anticipating a busy season. So it's hard to see you when you're down. When jumping in dangerous water like this canal, you need to take all advice and precautions you can get. The El Paso Fire Department Water Rescue Team knows this too well and holds monthly trainings along this body of water. They run three different drills. One in which they throw a water bag at a simulated victim to pull them to the riverbank. Another scenario where the team member has to retrieve a victim that got stuck in the canal waters. And the last one is what they call life bait. You wanna come get me? Yeah, I'll get you. A crew member is attached to the rope, then jumps in to grab a hold of the simulated victim to bring them to safety, and they have to work with a limited and slippery space. So take a look at the space that they have right here on the ground. It's about three feet. That is very narrow. Not only that, the water may seem inviting at first, but these firefighters even have to take extra vaccines before they can dip in safely. Those shots allow us to ultimately expose ourselves to the water, understanding that we wear dry suits. So ultimately what's getting wet is our hands and above our heads. The water rescue team captain, Chris Menendez, says they are still exposed to ear infections and sickness from gulping the water, but this is not the hardest part of their job. It hurts to see, you know, someone in the canal system that, that has drowned or, you know, is deceased. And, you know, as a team, we, we, we talk it out. It, it always affects, you know, it affects everybody. Menendez says they also have programs available to help them cope with situations they may encounter. Menendez also added that the current city's administration just recently approved three new members to be added to their ranks, which will be, which will be coming very handy for the team. For now, reporting along the border, Emanuel Esparza, ABC7.